Hello. Hello. We're just going through a bit of a walk around Tenerife, aren't we, Sam? What are we, day two? Day two. And it is steaming. The hotel's amazing. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That nugget breakfast is amazing, isn't it? Food. Yeah. I'm going to do a walk around video and then with B&B, but if you stay here and you want to go half board, it's 15 euros per person per day for the rest of your stay. Or 25 euros just for random sits uh, in the restaurant. We well, can food. eat cheaper than that outside, oh, yeah. can't you? There's a supermarket right outside. Hola. Hola. Hello. And also the little Italian shop next to the supermarket. Oh. You can get a three course meal for what was it, 12 euros? 12 euros, yes. 12 euros we can get it for. Um, but anyway, we're going out now for a bit of a walk, so come and follow us as we do a stroll. Sam's actually going upstairs, not down the stairs. I'm going down the stairs. We're going down them, we get the camera on it. Anyway, um, we're watching Comedy Elvis tonight, who's on in the bar at the uh, hotel. So we're going to be around here, but we're going for something to eat. Me and Aidy are going for the burger challenge at the restaurant, so I'll put the venues up now. Yeah. Anyway, cheers. Right, Aidy, hey, you're on the vlog for your, your debut. The 2023 Bulls champion. Aidy, hey, can you give us a rundown how you won the title? How I won it? Yeah. Oh, how I lost it was the most, oh yeah we were, what was it Chris 3-2 down or something <laughs> Chris goes long <laughs> and then we, we take five points in one and from there it was downhill it was a disaster Terry yeah. and his wife were not speaking and then the him. winning shot there was about an inch an to inch, get that ball yeah. in and yeah. I got it in <laughs> and took the Tenerife title <laughs> there was a team thing but he's taking it because he got the point <laughs> the full point I think she got most points yeah <laughs> We're on a walk, can't we, Sam? It's steaming. It's hot, hot. Hey, let me just turn this on.
Change that joke if you want. <laughs> Where is it you're from? Manchester. You're from Manchester. Oh, wow. Are you a football fan? Yeah. Oh, are you blue or are you red? Oh, wow. You're an old Trafford fan down there. Been a bit of turmoil happened that. Is that why you've gone a bit gray there, fella? <laughs> wow. Boy. Boy. Uh, hey. Hey, what do you do yourself for a living? Um, build something. You build something? Hell, yeah, well, when I tell you what you're going to do now, you might be laying a few bricks. <laughs> well, me and you fellas, we're going to be a bit of a team down here, huh? I'm going to go into my suitcase and I'm going to bring out a jacket for you. Now, I'm going to do an old rock and roll song. You're going to be like my back-end singers. But simple, 
All you have to see is it in heaven. All you got to see is hot banana. It's very simple, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to do a little trial first. Baby, let me be a banana. A banana. A, okay, a little bit quicker. Baby, let me be a banana. You love the teddy bear. A banana. Put the chain around my neck. I'll leave me anywhere. And just repeat. Oh, let me be. Oh, let me be. You teddy bear. Hey. All right, we're going to put this all together. Dancing is optional, but it would be great. Uh, uh. Hey. Oh, baby, like a bear, up and down, 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 just a wall of me. Up and out. 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 Up and I wanna be a tiger, tires win a rope. I don't wanna be a lion, and I am trying to calm you. Oh no, I don't wanna be a banana, your teddy bear. And see around my neck, leave me anywhere. Oh, let me be a banana. Oh, let me be. Stick a wig on now, uh, yeah. Well, come on, man. Let me see you back. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put him up to the TG stand, and he's going to be back in a little moment's time. Give him a big cheer. Of me. Just going on a bit of a walk and going up to sort of sort of the Veronica's area of Tenerife. I know it can be a bit may mayhem up there, but we're going early in the morning, so it doesn't really matter. I just want to say thank you to all you guys for sticking around. All these videos, uh, you're getting some out of them basically. Whether it's be have a look around Tenerife, the, the hotel, Spring Volcano. Please message me, ask any questions. You know, we're really loving the place genuinely am. I think <clears throat> one thing I've learned more than anything being here is you know I'm always like oh I want a quiet life I want to you know go in a hotel where there's no king idiots or whatever but because there's such a big crew of us it just ended up being really funny and, and sort of opening my eyes I don't think we're going to do all inclusive again I said that in one of the other videos 
this has just been perfect, you know, and the food, the quality of food eating out is just so much better. There is amazing all-inclusive hotels we've stayed at, but I think since COVID, it's just turned so much because of costing that, I get it, everyone's under the cost. The stuff in Greece, we found really struggling. Um, and it's just seems to have everything, you know, I love watching a good uh, live band. Sam does, Sam's more of a party animal than me. So it's nice to sort of, um, let your hair down, I suppose, in some, some respects, you know. I love doing all this YouTube stuff, but this is more, um, this is more a place that I think we're gonna keep coming back. Next year, we're looking at Vegas. Uh, you know, that's not even uh, a shock to anybody. It's our 25th wedding anniversary. We wanna renew our wedding vows in, uh, at the Grand Canyon, we're talking about. Sam's, like, Sam's idea, I'm really excited, honestly. I think I mentioned it in the Isle of Wight vlog. Um, what we're going to do, Gade and Di are going to come, you know, Sam's brother and, and my sister-in-law, Portia, my sister, Matt, who've been in the previous Vegas videos, they're going to come down from Vancouver, we're going to hire um, an SUV or something and get up there and purely do something different. So me and Sam are looking, because our anniversary is August, now we were looking at Vegas in August, that was the plan, you know, that wasn't going to deviate, but unfortunately, um, the pricing of... Virgin is an absolute disgrace, absolute disgrace. Yeah, we, we were looking at August next year for Vegas. We were going to do nine days. We were looking at the 16th of August, our anniversary, the 14th. But, and then we were going to sort of go Friday to Sunday. It was like nine nights, I think. And then on the Monday, it's bank holiday and it helps Sam with the holidays. However, the pricing has been an absolute disgrace virgin i know they ain't gonna watch this channel but virgin media just taking the piss big time the pricing for manchester has been a joke i'm hoping i'm gonna wait for i think it's gonna be cheaper to actually go for virgin holidays but my brother does work for virgin so he gets discounts uh, i don't want to do it but we so we watch them on the strip but I think he gets 50% off the Virgin Hotel off the strip and there's no resort fees there. You look on Virgin Atlantic, they're all waived. So that's like saving you two, three hundred dollars for the week at least. Um, you get money off the, the flight. It's only, well, not only, it's still amazing. It's like 60 quid a person, but it's all things that add up. And I just think Virgin at the moment for August next year, whether you do seven days, nine days, it's working out about 1300 pound per person. We could get to Vegas in places like the Bellagio and that, even at BA, and, it, and I'm not going with BA, as we, if you've watched the channel, you understand that, but um, yeah, it's just been a proper joke what they've done. Now the direct flights are back on, so I'm pretty disappointed in, in them, so we, we will be going with them. I'm just like reluctant, so we're looking maybe end of September now. Which gives us another month to save. It's a bit more to spend on the slots, I suppose. So that's a good thing. But yeah, but me and Sam are looking to do something next year, whether it's around April, May, just going away, whether it's three or four days. With, with Contemplator, I know it's not we don't like it, but Contemplator Benidorm, that's where I've said it millions of times on the channel. I pretty much grew up there as a kid, spending months on end there, weeks, holidays, two, three times a year. Um, Mum and Dad ended up being travel agents for Benidorm, Alicante area, uh, but I've just not been since Jordan was 18 months, not nearly two. Um, so, sort of, do we want to go back, but then do we just go on a weekend, the two of us, uh, just a bit of a piss take, but then we're like, well, do we come back here, uh, do it? So we're not sure yet, but we're, we're definitely going to try something, something cheap and cheerful, but everything we're doing next year is, is geared towards Vegas. And uh, yeah, it should be good, should be good. So anyway, I'll flip the camera and uh, I'll see you again. Thank you for everyone for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Uh, anything you think of, give me a shout. Take care, see you soon. So as we're coming down here, when we came in 2007, we stayed at the Compostela Beach in Los Cristianos. There's two Compostela beaches. There's one near the front, near the Park Santiago, which we had a walk around yesterday. And then there's the Compostela Beach Golf Club, which we stayed at in 2007. And a previous Tenerife video I did last year, we had a little tour around it. I've changed names now, it's not, uh, it's still Compostela, it's owned by someone else, but it wasn't the greatest tiny 
little restaurant. But as we come to this road, when we first came to Tenerife, because we'd never been, any of us, we were sort of going from Los Cristianos right across, down Los Cristianos, past the supermarkets, past where the hospital is, to the beach, and then walking right all the way to Los America, which is up here. And we were here for two weeks, self-catering, whole family. And then Aid just one day went for a walk and he's like, you know, we've been doing literally like a two mile detour to get, I went, yeah, you just walk down this road here. This road right here takes you down to Las Americas. So it's like bell ends where you're walking. Well, it probably gets the steps in, but yeah. So it's, it's quite containers, that's what I'm saying. It's like to show a little bit of perspective of where we are to where a lot of the bars, where a lot of people like going. And what I found as well, like, you know, this you'll see this online. Everyone uses YouTube usually, or TripAdvisor, he's a YouTube for any info, is there's a lot of these set menus where it's like three uh, courses. I'll show you down here for 1250. So, so what you'll get is like, there's a curry house, which I'll take us to as an example. The restaurant we've been going around, it's at the hotel, we went there again last night. The food's just so nice. There's such a wide variety. And usually when you go in a restaurant and they spread themselves too thin, you know, you've got Italian, Mexican, uh, you've got the Spanish stuff, you've got you know, American burgers, things like that, pizzas. But honestly, food quality is outstanding. The lasagna has, has been something that they've all recommended. Sam and Jordan, that was absolutely amazing. So, but there's loads of places you can go. So. Saturday for our sins we will be watching United against Palace we have just beaten in the cup but we are playing them in the league and we're having a bit of a day session so we're going to go to the Brahms near our hotel and then we're going to potentially walk this way but uh, Dai's not confident Aid's going to make it because he, he's two euros a pint in the uh, Brahms so uh, I'm just praying that we win let's just say that <laughs> we should Leading well should do, I've been that bad at the start of the season. But anyway, um, so we're going to walk down here and go to the Aberdeen where we were yesterday. We had a pint on the front. And I don't drink pints of lager at all, I can't stand them, but it was 150 a pint. And not just because of that, but it was 150. Put, we put a lager top with me and Sam, uh, and it was bang on. It was so hot, and yesterday was steaming. You know, it's saying it's only like 26, 27. It seems so much warmer. I mean, last year we were in Vegas, it was like mid 40s, and that was absolutely horrendous. I don't know whether I've got like, I'm forgetting, but this has felt similar, and I can't explain it. I don't know whether it's the proper sun trap where we are. Uh, now, when we came last year, we did go in the casino with a K. Uh, we didn't win anything, me, Sam, and Joe. We only went there for a half an hour, but well, there's a casino with a K, Spanish pronunciation, hola. And what I, what I want to come up to, I'm not sure if we're going to go in it now, but is we're coming up to now uh, where the Dubliner is, I've not, never been in the Dublin, it's supposed to be like a really good night, but there is the chippy that everyone goes on about, I've seen Matt Master go in there, um, to some of the other YouTubers saying like how amazing it is and actually I can see it right here on the right. The palms, fish and chips, here it is. This is supposed to be awesome. I've seen the video, the fish is huge. They do do some Scottish stuff. There's a haggis thing I've sort of wanted to try. I remember haggis a few years ago. Uh, they do the uh, fried Mars bars as well. It's more of a Scottish thing than an English thing, but I've seen some of the chippies. But the fish and chips, Look absolutely awesome. In fact, I'm going to put a picture up, but here it is. Don't look much, and there isn't really anywhere to. I think you can might maybe sit here if you people sit close to it. But on, honestly, this place, the Palms, is supposed to be amazing. I'll put a picture up of what I've seen. I think it was the map master who does a few videos on this chip. It, it, it will not disappoint. Proper English. Or English, British chips, sorry. Um, not French fries or anything like that. And it's attached to the H10 hotel. as a H10 hotel. Not far in the Dublin, is just here. The Gaelic corner. Yeah, it is the Dubliner. But if you are here, please try it. 
we were going to do it Saturday, but now we're sort of thinking we might go down to the Aberdeen where we're yesterday. I'm just going to go right to, but yeah, here's the Dublin, the guys. This one's open till four o'clock as well, which is really good. The band doesn't come on till later on, and it's supposed to be a cracking night. Um, so, and it's pretty famous. If you've been here before, you'll know probably about the Dubliner. I can imagine what well, March 17th, St. Paddy's Day. It'll be a, a good day, I reckon. Yeah, so this is where we were yesterday. Put a couple of pictures up of us uh, having a pint and that. 150 for a pint in frosted glass. You can get it for a euro, you know, few people uh, still doing it for a euro at 150 is nothing if you like a bit of beer and when it's so hot it was perfect honestly so it takes a lot for me I usually hate our lager it's because of my first ever hangover was lager but no honestly I really enjoyed it Casino, black and red. Now this is the one, the Star of India, I was saying. So this had a set menu, three for three course meal, I think it was 12.50 or 12.95. So we were, we do want to go for a curry, we are going to have a curry, I think we're having one near us tonight, but uh, it looked lovely. The food was really nice, where's the English menu? It's pretty reasonable. It's pretty, I must admit, I mean, the curries themselves pretty similar. I've seen it, some of the restaurants are quite similar to the UK. You've got Jack's Scotch Bar there. Morning. Well, this is this is a aid found this actually, just one of his walks, but as you come down to here, and I, I, in fact what I've realised is here, surf shop, there's a couple. Like, there's, a, there's a couple of surf shops here but it's really busy on this specific area for people just running down with surfboards there's a couple of shops here selling vans and things like that proper skate skater stroke surf place and obviously you can see in the distance there's some really good waves so it obviously is a big surfer's paradise but here's the Aberdeen we were yesterday now 150 for a beer a glass of beer breakfast though look at that 795 5 These burgers, there's a, this is where we've got food envy, we're all geared up for the fish and chips and then these burgers come over, this chicken burger, this proper chicken breast, it's not like a you know, processed crap batter and then you've got all these burgers. So we're going to possibly come here and get absolutely bitten by flies at the moment, but look at this. But the beer, so we got a lager top, it's 150, outstanding. So we're going to come here. We sat, if you can get it right, these two tables, that one's okay as well, but these two tables are perfect. Probably this one, but it's 150, you're overlooking the sea, you chill out. Um, really, really recommend it, honestly, I really do. And there is people here, actually, on the sea, I presume we were going to be doing a bit of surfing. I did this walk yesterday, so I'm not going to take us back the same way. I'll just come on the front a little bit and then uh, just veer off back to the hotel. But yeah, look, a load of uh, surfers down there getting prepped and ready. Lady with a skateboard. It truly is an awesome place. I mean, I always think sometimes it won't do it justice, but look at the view there, you know, the mountains, oh, it's a bit of cloud there, but it's such an impressive uh, shoreline, everything.
everyone there. It's Thursday, the 26th, 28th, I should know that's his payday, thank God. Um, we're just off out, we're going for a curry actually, which is at, let me investigate, near the Aberdeen bar where we were yesterday, which we've spent all afternoon at. And uh, yeah, I've been drinking Lager Lime again, a little bit wired, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, we are going to the start of India. 12.95, three course curry, this is going to be a disaster for the simple reason we will not be able to drink afterwards because we're going to be full. However, you can't be at curry, so I think I'm going for onion bhaji, the chicken rogan josh, basmati rice, and you've got to get keem and arm. If you've not had keem and arm, you've got to get keem and arm. Anyway, not sure what we're going to do. It's probably going to be a quiet one tonight. Tomorrow we're going to go and see that comedy Elvis guy again because apparently he's got an X-rated one which will be over my shoulder, over there somewhere at Brahms and then Saturday we're going to go and watch the match in the afternoon so we're a late session but we had a great day today honestly uh, they said it was going to go overcast it was really warm like steaming warm it was like 28 29 and then we went down to the beach me and Aid had a swim with Ant in the ESC um, they were both laughing I think Jordan and Di were laughing and uh, we, we were going to go right to the edge but it was it was choppy so we sort of bowled it a little bit but I think it was for the right decision because we would have got swept away. Then we walked down the front, had a cocktail, uh, one of the bars at the Park Santiago, Santiago 3, had a, not a porn star, a porno star, which was very nice, um, with a little Prosecco chase and then we went and had like three Dorada uh, pints by the mean Sam were being a bit you know a bit soft and we had a bit of lime in ours but Jordan did have a shandy so she's converted on lager he's never really had it um, and at 150 a pint gotta say I was very impressed so now it's been a really good afternoon so we're going to go back there and have a curry down that way we may end up at some of the bars the Dublin is down there I'm not sure where we're going to go but so far it's been brilliant totally refreshing not doing the all-inclusive totally different holiday, I had a really good laugh with everyone and uh, yes, met some really good people so uh, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and we'll see you again tomorrow morning because I'll be probably, well, I'll show you some of the stuff from tonight and if we get, we said we were going to have a quiet one but you know when someone says you're going to have a quiet one, we never have a quiet one so let's see how it is but I'm very, very happy with this holiday and we're definitely going to be coming back to Tenerife as our uh, once a year at least base holiday and I can totally get it now so yeah, thanks a lot guys, take care, bye